China has long been recognized as an engine for growth in the aviation industry. Its airlines are rapidly expanding and both domestic and international air travel demand continues to skyrocket. Not wanting to share all the increased demand for aircraft to Airbus and Boeing, the Chinese government established the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, in 2008. Since then, COMAC has released the C919, an airplane with 168 to 174 seats that is meant to compete with the Airbus and Boeing. Welcome to our channel today. In this video, we will look at China's ambitious quest to conquer the skies and challenge the long-standing duopoly of Boeing and Airbus. In this exciting video, we'll take a closer look at how China's cutting-edge aircraft like the impressive COMAX C919 are poised to revolutionize the aviation industry. Can they truly dethrone the reigning giants? Stay tuned as we analyze their strategies, innovative technologies, and the potential ripple effects on global aviation. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready to soar through this thrilling journey. You don't want to miss this high-flying adventure. Airbus and Boeing have faced challenges in recent years, including production delays and quality issues with its A320neo aircraft. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on the aviation industry, leading to a decrease in air travel and resulting in the cancellation of flights and a loss of revenue for both Boeing and Airbus. One of the biggest challenges facing both Boeing and Airbus is competition from emerging players in the aviation industry, including China's COMAC. COMAC is currently developing the C919 aircraft, which is seen as a potential rival to Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo. While the C919 has not yet been certified for commercial use, it has already received orders from several Chinese airlines, indicating the potential for the aircraft to gain a foothold in the market. Another challenge facing Boeing and Airbus is the increased focus on environmental sustainability in the aviation industry. Both companies are facing pressure to develop more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft, which requires significant investment in research and development. COMAX C919 will soon enter service in China, but is this aircraft really a threat to the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320? Is China about to destroy the Boeing Airbus duopoly? Stay tuned unless you're an AV geek or you're watching this from China. You might not even heard of COMAC and the C919. COMAC stands for Commercial Aircraft Corporation and it is the Chinese state-owned aircraft manufacturer. Now companies in China have previously done a lot of subcontracting work for both Boeing and the Airbus. The European manufacturer has, for example, an assembly line in China. While Boeing relies on Chinese facilities to convert many of its passenger jets to freighters. In the past, McDonnell Douglas has also used an assembly line for the MD-80 and the MD-90 in China. But then came COMAC's first homegrown aircraft, the ARJ-21. ARJ stands for Advanced Regional Jet. This aircraft, which bore a striking resemblance to the MD-90, first flew in 2008, around two years of the Boeing stock producing the 717, which was the last variant of the MD-90 family. Now obviously this generated quite a bit of controversy, since some McDonnell Douglas tooling might have been involved in the ARJ-21's manufacturing, according to some sources. But in and of itself, this aircraft didn't really represent a threat to Boeing and Airbus, since it didn't rival any of their aircraft in production at the time. The ARJ-21 is still in production today, with COMAC making about 21 to 25 of them per year, on average. But COMAC C919 is a completely different story. The C919 is a narrow-body airliner developed by Chinese aircraft manufacturer COMAC. The Chinese are not the first to attempt to break into the narrow-body passenger aircraft market. Companies such as Airbus were successful with the launch of the A320 in the late 1980s, while others such as the Dassault with the Mercure in the mid-1970s failed. The C919 may or may not reach the heights of the A320 but the Chinese domestic market has the potential to propel the aircraft to a moderate level of success. On the 9th of December 2022, China Eastern Airlines was the first company to acquire the world's first COMAX C919 aircraft. It is the first time a large Chinese passenger plane has been built to international airworthiness standard, with its own intellectual property rights, which represent a significant advancement for China's aviation industry. This aircraft will compete directly with the Airbus A320, and Boeing 737. The airplane has been in development for a while. Production of the prototype started in December 2011, and the first one was finished on November 2, 2015, and took its first flight on May 5, 2017. 
the aircraft received its airworthiness certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China on the 29th of September 2022. The aircraft is currently set for full commercial use in the spring of 2023, with its maiden route allegedly going between Shanghai and Beijing. COMAX C919 Design Shanghai is the center of the C919 design and manufacturing. Similar to Airbus and Boeing, the various C919 components are manufactured by third parties. The flaps, ailerons, wing panels, and center and outer wing boxes, for example, will be manufactured in Xi'an, China. The section of the fuselage will be fabricated in Yangshi province. These components will be assembled in Shanghai to complete with the C919 product. Most of the airframe of the C919 makes use of aluminum alloys, with the center wing box making use of carbon fiber composite materials. There are still a significant number of components supplied by foreign manufacturers. This is not unusual as both Boeing and Airbus employ the same production strategy for their respective airliners. The aircraft's dimensions are comparable to those of the Airbus A320. The aircraft measures 38.9 meters in length, 35.8 meters in wingspan, and 11.95 meters in height. The aircraft fuselage will be 3.96 meters wide and 4.16 meters tall. Cabin and Avionics The C919 cabin will be 3.9 meters wide and 2.25 meters tall. The plane comes with an efficient air filtration system, a passenger-centric lighting system, and low noise. The aircraft's passenger model can accommodate up to 170 passengers. Comac plans to manufacture six distinct aircraft models, including business jets, passenger aircraft, trunk passenger versions, and freighters. The C919 avionics system will be designed by GE and AVEC Systems. Avionics will include systems for core processing display and onboard maintenance. The flight deck of the C919 closely resembles that of the Airbus with a side-mounted joystick controlling the fly-by-wire system in place of the standard control column. Modern instrumentation includes two 15.4-inch main display screens in front of each pilot and a 12.5-inch side display screen below the window. In addition, the C919 will be available with a heads-up display that is used in fighter jets to project instrument data onto a window in front of the pilot, allowing them to monitor data such as airspeed altitude and other information without having to look down. Engine and Performance The aircraft will be propelled by two CFM International Leap 1C engines with thrust between 25,000 and 30,000 pounds. The aircraft has a range of 4,075 kilometers. The aircraft's payload capacity will be 20.4 tons. The cruise speed of the aircraft will be 0.78 Mach, and the maximum altitude will be 12,100 meters. The basic version of the aircraft has a range of 4,075 kilometers, while the extended version has a range of 555 kilometers. Currently, Comac relies fairly heavily on international components, including the aircraft's engines and control systems. An alternate engine called the CJ-1000A is under development with the hope that more or all of the airplane's components will be made nationally. Time will tell how the C919 fares and how much less dependent it may become on Western components further down the line. Now, let's talk about the implications for Boeing and Airbus and the wider aviation industry. Firstly, the emergence of COMAC and its C919 aircraft will increase competition in the aviation industry. As the world's largest aviation market, China presents a huge opportunity for both Boeing and Airbus. However, with the entry of a domestic competitor, they may have to work harder to maintain their market share. This will require both companies to focus on innovation and efficiency in order to stay ahead of the competition. Secondly, the introduction of the C919 aircraft has the potential to shift the market dynamics in the aviation industry. With Chinese airliners expected to account for a significant portion of global air traffic growth in the coming years, they will have a new option for aircraft procurement. This could potentially give Comac an advantage in the market and change the way that airlines think about aircraft procurement. Thirdly, the emergence of Comac and its C919 aircraft has spurred technological advancements in the aviation industry. Both Boeing and Airbus are invested heavily in research and development to develop more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft. The competition for COMAC will drive further innovation and may result in new technological advancements that benefit the wider aviation industry. Finally, the entry of COMAC into the aviation industry has implications for the geopolitical landscape. China's push to develop its aviation industry is part of a larger strategy to become a global leader in technology and innovation. This could potentially lead to a shift in the balance of power in the aviation industry, with China becoming a more influential player. Price. 
While Comac does not publish a list of prices for the C919, sources such as Forbes estimate the price to be around $99 million. The C919 price from state-owned Comac is nearly twice the industry estimate of $50 million, putting the aircraft in line with its Western counterparts. A Boeing 7378 has a list price of $121.6 million, while an Airbus A320neo has a list price of $110.6 million. It is essential to keep in mind that depending on the order size of airlines will only pay a fraction of the actual list price, with discounts of up to 50% being fairly common. But a $99 million list price does make the C919 a tough sell outside its home market. C919 Advantages and Disadvantages the major advantage of the C919 is availability. The order backlog for the C919 is much smaller than that of the Airbus A320neo series, and it doesn't have the problems like the Boeing 737 MAX, which has been grounded and will take years to fix. This means that airlines can get their hands on the C919 sooner rather than later. This means that you can get all the benefits of a new plane without having to wait or deal with production delays. And since China is known for mass production, you can be sure that Comac will be able to deliver quickly once the airframe is fully tested and rolling out. Besides, the C919 is likely to get cheaper because Comac has ties to the Chinese government. It can bend trade rules for the C919 and help airlines get the extra money they need to buy it instead of a Boeing or Airbus plane. Emerging countries might be able to buy two CU919s for the price of one Boeing 737 or one Comac plane for the price of a used Airbus A320. However, there are a few drawbacks to choosing the C919 that airlines must consider. The aircraft is currently unproven while it flies. It hasn't performed any revenue services yet, and the jury is still out on whether it's a good aircraft for commercial aviation. There might be some flaws or hiccups that would hinder airlines' growth. Emerging centers such as those in Africa are so far away from China that it will take months to resolve any significant maintenance issues. Comac lacks the same parts, network, MRO, and AOG services as Boeing and Airbus, and there will be no international maintenance centers at this time. An airline will lose millions of revenue if it takes months to obtain an aircraft component. Lastly, there is the matter of training numerous developing nations to expedite the pilot recruitment process by employing experienced pilots who are already type rated for their airline fleet, such as European A320 pilots. In the case of the C919, however, neither pilots nor training facilities exist outside of China. Emerging nations must solve this logic puzzle before they can launch, and at the end of the day, they may wonder if it's worth their time to stick to more conventional aircraft. The Comac C919's moment in the spotlight has yet to arrive. It is a fantastic aircraft, but it will require many years of service in China before other nations can consider it. Comac will need to invest heavily in other countries to ensure the support infrastructure is included in any sales plan, and that the aircraft is as reliable as a Boeing 737 or Airbus A320. Emerging and budget-conscious airlines should look at the secondary market for dependable aircraft with existing support and readily available parts. But what do you think? Will the Comac C919 be able to succeed? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.